We've never had this response over like so quickly to no. the That shit trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. That's a big ball Looking like a hedgehog, sluts go Sonic. <laughs> the fuck was that? You know, we always go crazy towards the end. <laughs> fuck, we've come a long way. We're not the same men that we used to be. No, we're not. We, we've we've been traumatized by much of Death Grip's discography. I've seen some shit. I man. saw a saw a man uh, suck his own dick off in a, in a cubicle. It's crazy, bro. And I just looked at it like it was the most normal thing in the world because Death Grip's made me this way. And I even went up to him, just like, "Hey, man, congratulations." He was just like, "Have you heard this group called Death Grip's?" I'm like, "Fuck, you've heard them too." It's like, "Yeah, man, I can suck my own dick now." This cover's so weird. It's a bunch of mouths and tongues, teeth. It's real fucking weird. But and that's we, classic. And we ain't checked out any of the singles either. No, we didn't. They released like half their album in singles, so like, no. Yeah, so we, I think it was a smart idea, us avoiding it. Of course you wanted us to do them, but because we haven't checked any of them, we are going to this album completely fresh with no idea what musical direction they want to take because every album, it seems, they do something that is kind of expected of them, but then again, not really. Um, who are we? Fuck, we are Jungle Grips Beats. Australia's plug to the... Well, Hardest death grip on your cock. Yeah. And we are reviewing Year of the Snitch. I'm Alexander Sandalis. I'm the raging volcano, Krakatoa. Haha, I know why you said that. Mm -hmm. Bro, I think Death Grips is online. Have you heard? <laughs> what? I think Death Grips is online. Online. Death Grips is online. Death Grips is online. He don't know, bro. He's not fuck. He's not noited like I am. <laughs> you know, I mean, level, bro. I'll take offense to that. Oh, okay. All right, all right. It went, went around on their Twitter. They were retweeting people who said Death Grips is online. It's just like a fucking meme. Uh -huh. I think I still face pussy from last night. <laughs> you gotta wash yourself, bro. I mean, I did. I brushed my teeth, but I can taste it in the back of my throat. Oh, I got it in deep. Oh, shit! Drinking it up. Oh man, I was laughing at you. <laughs> um. I didn't really care for that, to be honest. I think it's one of the most underwhelming starts to a Death Grips album. Yeah, I honestly thought the the very slow sort of track, uh, drum and bass sort of influence about that track. I'm not I'm not a huge drum and bass fan, so I kind of was bored with the whole the whole sort of tone of the track. Yeah, exactly. And even the backing, the backing guitars and the backing sort of da, 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 didn't really interest me that much. And obviously with Death Grips. We want to catch their lyrics on a first listen. It's motherfucking Death Grips. You know, well, it was we... largely instrumental as well. Exactly. But you know we're going to need like 10 listens for that shit. Um, honestly, couldn't care for this track. No. That's um, kind of disappointing. No, because Death Grips, like, especially after hearing Bombless Pit, like um, bad people having good ideas. That track fucking bangs. I played that track probably 20 tracks as I heard then. I, I haven't woken up. Sorry, what? I haven't played that track. I've played that track. Tw you know what? Fuck it. Next track. Flies.
Oh, the shivering started. The convulsions have started. We're fucked. <laughs> so basically, for those who don't know, he, he convulses when he hears things that are unpleasant to him. Is that correct? Sometimes. Sometimes it's just because... I think that one was the one because I was just like... I don't know. Sometimes just I can't explain it. Just one of those ones, huh? Sometimes you can't explain it. That's okay, man. Again, I mean, I liked a little bit more than the last track, but... I don't know, those high tone... I don't even know how, what instruments they use, but the, the high tone... Um, synths maybe I don't particularly care for um, I enjoy this track a lot more than the first one I mean I wouldn't say it's like great but I enjoyed the deviance between the two sort of beats and the, the real fast way his vocal display was pretty strong I like the ending how it has like the prison sirens entering for the next track yeah prison sirens yeah 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 that, that, was, that was a nice out, intro yeah I kind of I kind of like this track I mean Smash the fuck out of the first track, but yeah, this track's kind of cool. Black paint. That's grimy. Yeah. Dirty, dirty death grip. not like that not really oh i felt quite differently that guitar lead was really strong it was aggressive vocals but not too prominent as well and in the middle they had this little transformer kind of like helicopter sound that was really dope and really nice nice little switch up and effect there sounded the best to me right there out of the three just felt like a psychedelic rock track from like the yeah. from the 70s or 60s that's interesting comparison it's had like a lot of psychedelic sort of feels to it I just thought the guitar riff was overused. It was prominent throughout the whole song. I get why it's there. The The vocal use was boring to me. It just it just felt like something that was so inspired by something else that it just wasn't Death Grips. And this like, is really interesting. We've never had this response over like so quickly to no. Death Grips. Like, listen to this track. <clears> I'm just like, this isn't a Death Grips track. Like, it obviously is. But like, to me, it's just like, I'm listening to another artist. I don't know. I didn't really enjoy this track. It's kind of boring to me. Well, maybe Linda is. But then again... Linda's in custody. <laughs> Is that the name? Uh, it's a bit silly. <laughs> it's a bit bubble. <laughs> you got so serious. <laughs> oh, this is my shit. Oh. Yeah. What is that sound? Pull that. Sounds like a drum set. Like an ad. Ah, there we go. Go ahead, tell him. Tell him. A video game right now. Shit one. <laughs> that shit trash. I think trash is a is a bit of a hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you say? Um, Linda, it's a song is about Linda Casabian, a former member of the Manson family and key witness for the prosecution in the Manson trial. She turned 69 on June 21, which was... Congratulations. ...the release date of this album. Uh, She's likely the snitch identified in the album's title. So why is she a snitch? The what? plot gets thicker. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found the track extremely boring. The use of those, either they were synths or drum pads or whatever like they were just uninteresting their vocals didn't interest me this i don't know this this album so far has got a feeling of like it's like got it's got the the randomness of death grips in a way but it just doesn't have the 
the loudness or quiet chaoticness of them. This is a very quiet Death Grips album to me in terms of what they're doing. They're kind of they're taking a more a very different approach. Like I still respect that they're taking once again a different repro- approach to an album, but so far I haven't really been wowed or yeah. enjoyed much of anything besides parts of the second track. Uh, there's not many lines in this track, but a couple of different dirt kisses. Seen her titty fucking bright skin. How do you say come to me? Hanging out with Linda. Do you say how do you say come to me? <laughs> I heard she's in fucking custody. I don't know what any of that means, but we know Linda is now the concept of this album. Hmm. And she is the snitch, hypothetically. How's a 69-year-old a snitch, though? Well, something she did in her past um, hmm. in regards to the Manson family. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Very interesting history lesson there from Sandy. This is the horn section. <laughs> I think this album's a joke. This album's gotta be a joke. That's fucking so bad. Like, this isn't good. Hold up. To me. This isn't good music to me. Like, the fuck was that? That was the horn section, man. There weren't even any horns on there. Just, they weren't working there. There was just fucking sporadic jazz-like fucking drums and oh, then shit. and then really sporadic keys. It was just sporadic keys and drums that weren't enjoyable. If you enjoyed it, then fuck, I don't know what drugs you'd be on. Not good ones. Or very good ones. Hmm. This is a... You know what would be great? If this album was just like a troll and all the singles they released were trolls and they released like another album, like say, oh. in the next few weeks, that was the real album. Hold on. Now, Genius just says it's it's where the de- end of Death Grips is online picks up from this song. That's But why would they put it after that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, miss. Fuck you! Ah, I did a little pop off. Yo, it smelled like dog shop. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make a rhyme with a. <laughs> ah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's like a. It's like a theme park. This is a very funny track! <laughs> I get it! I'm glad we did this first! So we could ruin our day! <laughs> Man, I can't wait to listen to this on the way home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, DJ Jesse Jeff! DJ Sandy in the house. This world don't need more DJs. I know, right? <laughs> That one is found. Oh, that's a good transition. That's a really nice that's transition. That's a sick transition. Um, but we got to stop it. That was a better track, though. This is their fourth single, you know? First, oh, do you want, oh. first lyric of the first verse. I'm at Glow Bowl in a wet fuckhole. <laughs> Where the 1994 hobos throw. <laughs> 69 and the bitches shout, I'll fuck you when I want to hang out. <laughs> Tell the princess, eat shit and die. <laughs> Not in public, ho. I'm still high. <laughs> I can keep going. Do it, it's funny. These pigs are crazy, dog. This <laughs> narc at the dyke bar in a slow car. Looking like a hedgehog, sluts go Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking dope. That's funny. Sl- <laughs> look at, look at Trying to dick your mom and shit. I'll do anal in the pit. <laughs> Repulsive as the bench, Nick. Show your titties and I'll spit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's pretty good first verse, though. Deep, I'm glad they did. Deep pl- prop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking. Work now. <laughs> That's the first line, 
Um, but no, I, I, I enjoy that track. I quite like the uh, the tone of it. I like the the voice alterations on there. Death Grips um, definitely mucking around a bit more with that. I'm definitely getting a huge psychedelic overall feel for this album compared to the other work. Like they've, they've taken a different approach to this album. Do you think they may have taken a bunch of psychedelics to make this? Mate, they probably take them for every fucking album they make. I can't imagine doing it otherwise. Yes, can't imagine doing it otherwise. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, cool track. Two out of fucking however many we've listened to. I'm an I'm I'm outro. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Oh. I was really enjoying that intro. <laughs> Heavy rock. <laughs> you know, we always go crazy towards the end. But one of my favorites, and it felt like I was in a roller coaster. Like a psychedelic roller coaster. All the colors are everywhere, and it's like I'm high and I'm on all types of drugs that I've never taken before, and everything's colorful. It's like a Super Mario, but except on, on like drugs. Mario is on drugs. He takes mushrooms, bro. It's to me, I'm Mr. Mushroom. <laughs> I mean, he eats mushrooms, he eats flowers, he eats stars. Like the stars make him go glowy color, and everything around him flashes. Like Mario's a fiend, bro. You got a problem. I need to slow down that shit. This is the um. This is they. They dropped a music video for this, but YouTube actually removed it and gave them a copyright strike for it. So they well, YouTube went in. Yeah. I don't know why. It's something to do with their pol new policies. They uh, they. Man, everyone's hating on YouTube these days. It's making it harder for people like us to make a living, bro. Um. Yeah. Really cool track. Really fucking cool intro. Love the drums. Love the guitar. Love the shouting. It's just a really fucking cool track and I wish it was longer. Either way, it's another good track. Streaky. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that only had a back speaker. Dope man. You notice they use a lot of the DJ scratches throughout the, throughout the album so far. For for fresh, Prince. Yeah. Of um, there's, there's, a, there's a funky funky drum pattern too. Ooh, there's a lot of a lot to love there. What, what did you love? Uh, near everything. Love the synths. Love the drums. Love the uh, love the vocals. Love the switch ups. Love, love. I like when um he goes, throw it to the ground. Shout out Andy Sandberg. <laughs> and then after that, like the beat switches up with his more like like sort of lighter lighter synths as well. It was fucking it was the most most enjoyable Death Grip track of this album so far. And it was the first single. Oh, no wonder people were getting hyped for this album with that being a single, and then having some of these first tracks on this album. Yeah, the last three the last three tracks have been fire. It's been sick. That was a really fucking, really fucking dope track. Sounds Australian. Death Grips. The workings. The workings. It's huge They have a dilemma. But they'll win their dilemma. Sounds like Hugh Jackman. It is Andrew Adamson. <laughs> Andrew Adamson! Fucking how do you not know who Andrew Adamson is? Fucking this guy, right? Fucking plan. This is 
the fifth single. Fifth. He's a filmmaker, Andrew Adamson. He made the Shrek movie franchise. <laughs> wow. Th thank you for that. I pressed pause. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck me. Um, this, you know, this is a very psychedelic rock album. It's a mix between the two. It is. That felt like something straight out of the 60s, 70s once again. And it was pretty well executed. I quite uh -huh. enjoyed that one as well. I feel like the latter end of this album is a lot stronger than the first half of this album. Actually, I don't even know how many tracks are on this thing. Like, there could be 30 for I There's 13 tracks. The sounds are a lot more powerful. The, the, the sonics are more powerful. Yeah. Like, I don't know, his vocals are more stronger here. It just the, the riffs were cleaner. <sighs> Fuck, I like broccoli. You like or you love broccoli? I really like broccoli. Because I fucking love broccoli. Shit. So... I'm like that kid that's just like, I like it more than you do. I like it times two. I like it infinity. Oh, fuck you win. <laughs> you know, you could be a voiceover for like a Rick and Morty series. Yeah. 1000%. I want to do it. If you found a cartoonist or, or just like an animator or you just like started doing voice acting. Do you know how hard it is to get into that? Do you know who most of the voice actors are in the world? People actors? That, people that are already actors. Well, fuck. Look, it's anything very, worth it's doing is hard. Yeah. Well, it's very hard to become a voice actor is what I'm trying. It's also very hard to like create something like this too but we've done it but it's probably a little easier than <laughs> so mate it's not apples are you apples. saying that if i want to become a dolphin then i could become a dolphin look if there's if any jerry's can jerry can i'm gonna help him. you out if there's any um managers out there who are responsible for helping voice actors in movies or tv shows please hit your man up he's eclectic and he's <laughs> diverse yeah. And he's also very weird. It's your boy, the Raging Volcano, Krakatoa. It's your boy, Little Richard. <laughs> Is that what it's called? It's Little Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Little Richard? Man, you introduced these tax so fucking well. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, imagine if I just transformed to a beaver and just started gnawing the fucking way. I would stomp on your <laughs> fucking head real quick. I was just go, whoosh! <laughs> It's like going to the music. Boy, who is death punk? Yeah, but who the fuck's Little Richard? Dude, it's, Richard stands for dick, so it stands for Little Dick. Yeah, I thought that at the start, but maybe they're actually talking about somebody. Nah, it's Death Chris, man. They're definitely talking about dick. Fuck, my bad. You're I think right. he's trying to talk about, yo, my little dick. Yo, my little dick. Hey, my little dick. Uh, definitely, like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like Transformer-like. I don't know how to describe that sound. A very electronic. Sound like a didgeridoo on crack to me, mate. You, you use didgeridoo quite a bit. That's an instrument you, you use every I mean, it sounds nothing like it, but just the way that it sort of like reverberated sort of gave me that sort of feel. I mean, it's echoing Little Richard kind of mm. cult-like way to say it. But once again, a pretty, pretty good track. Really dope instrumental. Really fucking sick back and vocals once again. Like, it's weird. Like, maybe... This, this to me, definitely, because most Death Grips albums are growers, and this to me feels like... Just like me, baby. One of the... <laughs> it just feels... <laughs> you fucking dirty cunt. <laughs> um, but no, this, this album for sure, like just listening to it, listening to it sort of... Is it, is it, the more I listen to it, the more it's shaping together. And I definitely feel like this album is going to be a huge grower. I can see this being... So it's not a Little Richard, or it is a Little Richard? It's a Little Richard. As long as we got that established. If you, if you know what I'm saying. Know what I'm saying? Nah, me. All right, the fear.
His transitions are super smooth. Especially in the latter half of the album. Yeah. 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 Now what? Else? Yeah. Now what I was doing, guys, I was actually reading up on um, the cock. No, no, no. That was before. Um, I'm sorry. Up, reading up on the description of this song, and actually, um, it's really interesting because the fear is a song about the fear of death, and specifically, um, they pointed out here that often uh, MC Ride talks about um, not having the power. Like, you know when you're on a balcony, you're standing on a balcony, you, you know, you could easily I've, jump. I've never stood on a balcony, I'm sorry. I can't emphasize with you here. Can you visualize it? Can we just play oh, a thought experiment? Oh, fuck, I'm on a balcony, bro. I think I, think I can imagine it. <laughs> and there's also references to this in No Love Deep Web, in the video, Come Up and Get Me, where you see MC Wright standing on a balcony, and these lines in, uh, in Black Pain tie into the fear. These old, all these songs mm. are tying into each other about his fear of death, or rather... He could jump, but he doesn't. I think it's interesting because we all may have felt some similar feeling like that before. No, have you? I've definitely been like that. And it's weird, like you, you don't want to die. You're not suicidal, but you just have the thought of, what if I just jumped? Right. It's like, and you always think to yourself, is there a part of my mind that could overtake me and just do it? And for MC Wright, it's like, it sounds like it's like, oh, he's staring at death. But he doesn't <clears throat> have the power to jump. It's like, don't jump. Who will help me fall? Hell, wait too long because the fear. Don't cry. You won't last the fear. So interesting, um, yeah. Track. It's a really interesting track. Um, I love the love the keys on the really dark keys. It's um, the yeah, it's fucking yeah, those keys, bro. The do 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 do. Now we got outro, but then we're into uh, one minute outro, and then it's into another track called Disappointed. So I'm not sure why that would be an outro. Yeah, I'm just I'm just really impressed with the way this album shaped itself. It went from me being like. This is going to be the worst piece of garbage, shit, worst death groups I've ever heard. To me being like, this is actually a really fucking pretty solid album. We've actually kept pretty calm for this album. Right? Normally, normally, you just, go, normally you go crazy. It's just the music, right? The music has made me go crazy. Yeah, I got a pet bulldog. Yeah, he has a friend who is a frog. The kiss. I was like, why you do this? They're like, yo, we didn't mean to have this interracial benefits. And then the frog went to the bulldog and was like, yo, you want to go away and get married? And the bulldog was like, nah, fam, I just want to fuck. The frog was like, okay then. So he bent over and the bulldog fucked the frog. And they had sex. It was great. Then they got head from the frog's neck. Last track. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> uh, this is fucking cool already. This is like a Blade movie type shit. Yeah, we got that. Oh yeah. <laughs> fucking chopping heads off and shit of them. The vampires. <laughs> I look like I'm cooking right now. This isn't what it looks like to chop vampires' heads. <laughs> Track. Holy shit, bro! I was, I was close to losing it. Remember, remember. Normally, the last track of a Death Grips album is sometimes the tone for the next one they do. Yeah, but we say that, but we never connect the actual dots. Well, Listening back to the last album, did it actually sound like this? Yeah, bro. I, don't I fucking know. remember, mate. I was like, "Fuck!" Sounds exactly like all this shit. Fuck. That was a killer last track, man. 
I wanted to do some things while I was listening to it, but I tried to keep it down because I'm like, all right, let me just drive not, out not to it. break shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. You broke my fucking soul. <laughs> Sorry about that. You broke, you broke my... Fuck! You broke my spirit. Um, that was very heavy. I feel like they could have very easily put that as the intro, but then it wouldn't have set the pace for the no, album. No, you listen to this album backwards, mate. It's actually how you meant to listen to it. Oh, it's like Kendrick's Dan? Oh, it's like every fucking album that blows your fucking mind. Oh, let's do it backwards. Oh, why the fuck you do that to begin with? Tetsuo and Youth actually is really good backwards too. Um, yeah, real fucking dope outro. Love the fucking wow, wow, wow. The riffs, the fucking drums. Real sick. And an amazing turnaround. Yeah, I went, once we got into the album, it, it picked yeah. up quite a bit. I'm actually really excited to actually go back and listen to this again to see if the start, I missed anything that made this album make sense instead of being like, so I went from blatantly <laughs> Listen to li Watch lyrics bro uh, Read the lyrics bro You ain't Read uh, lyrics well, I went from Hating on this album To Loving it <laughs> <laughs> You are disgusting Alexander man Your mother is uh, ashamed of you But no Yeah she Oh man I'm fucking <laughs> That hedgehog line though. The Sonic line? Yeah, that was That dope. was fire. Nah, this is a fucking sick album. I'm I'm very impressed. It's 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 just like the thing I love about Death Grips is every album they do, there's always huge elements of differences, but still elements of their last albums. Like, you know, the last album I think with Bottomless Pit we got Essences of uh, uh No Love Deep Web, Jenny Death, and uh The Money Store. Maybe I think that's what You're it was. You're just naming all their albums at this point. No, that's well that's three out of like the six that were reviewed. But this album, like we don't really get I, we don't really get too much of the other albums when you think about it. Like I didn't really get like the guitar. So the guitar is such a different genre of rock that's not Jenny Death influence. It's not heavier rock. It's more psychedelic. It, I rock. feel like this does stand in its own lane a bit. Yeah, and you don't really get too much no love deep web vibe or the electronic vibes because the, the, the sort of vibes they have in here are more once again psychedelic. And that's hard to do, man. They've created like so many distinct sounds, yeah. and they continue to reinvent themselves. Like that's why this album to me is like really impressed me by after listening to it in full into the end, like especially towards the mid middle to end. It just made me be like, fuck, they've actually done an album where I can't really revert it back to something else they've already done. Because yeah. normally that's what happens. Normally it's just like, oh, it's from this album. Oh, they've from this. That's why in the moon. That's why The Moon was a really fucking dope Death Grips project to me because it didn't really sound like much else that they've already done. And I find like the albums from Death Grips I enjoy the most are normally ones where they do that. The ones where they just really just fucking go their hand hardest at something they've done. But yeah, real fucking dope album. Cannot wait to dive back into this. Uh, and it was actually interesting reading the lyrics of this, some of these songs. You know, I'm actually glad I looked at some of it. Yeah, yeah, Because um, it provided some insight. No, I think it is good. Especially the one you said about... Um, the one about the... the concept of the album. Could be the concept of the album. Also yeah. the one about uh, his his fear of death, like, which I fuck with. I think it's a really fucking dope song and concept. Um, That's it, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we avoided the singles. If you want to see... If you're like, oh, we reviewed, I think, six other albums by Death Grip. So if you guys haven't watched those, they're all on the channel. They'll be on the cards on the side. You can click those. Yep. Um, yeah, man. We'll be on it. Death Grips. Thank you for introducing it to us. Um, yeah. And if um, you want to turn me into a USB and put me into your computer... Go on our Patreon you know, and there's an option for that and yeah. it helps support us. And if you also want to have a honey and butter sandwich... Also go on our Patreon. That is the third tier. And also, if you uh, want to have a... a a baby squirrel for dinner tonight. That is not on our Patreon. You have to email us for that. Beats Media Gmail. Also, if you want to create a video game where you are a slug and you have to capture other slugs, then kill yourself because that's terrible. It's a bit rough. Sometimes you got to be rough to get to the the fucking. <laughs>